Hey guys, welcome back. New video. And this video is of me mounting the magnetron back on the top of the microwave pyrolysis reactor. So, I don't mean to spoil the video before you guys see it, but the truth is, this magnetron movement to the top back before it, it doesn't end up working. And at the end of the day, I'm going to have to build a new reactor. Now, with that being said, we will design this new reactor, okay? We as a community will come together and I will take all of your suggestions and we will put them all into play to build this new microwave pyrolysis reactor. Now that links me into my next thing. The next thing is I started a Patreon, okay? I don't like asking for money because that's not what it's about to me. This is about the passion. This is about the solution to our pollution problem in the world. And this is about, you know, just having a community of people on YouTube. But with that being said, it's only $5 a month, and it will really help me and this project out. That's what I'd spend all of it on, the project. Um, because as much as I don't want this to be about money, the truth is this world is run by money, and this reactor does cost money, especially designing a new one when I gotta buy all these new pipes and stuff. It can easily cost several hundred dollars. So with that being said, if any of you are feeling generous to support me, I will greatly appreciate it. And I appreciate all of you for just being here and watching. So don't even feel the need to support me for one second on Patreon because I, I completely value all of your time regardless, okay? I love to be able to see how everybody can come together to give me different suggestions from all over the world. It's amazing to me, okay? That's a, the real support to me regardless. With that being said, the benefits to being on Patreon is that you will be able to message me directly. We can have one-on-one -on -one talks. You can also talk with other people who are Patreons on there. I will be posting things on Patreon that are exclusive and are not on this channel. Now that does not include any update videos. That only includes videos like maybe behind the scenes footage, uh, footage and pictures of my very first reactor that I built that um, has not ever been shown before. And um, things like that, you know, uh, extras that I don't upload on YouTube. I always have tons of extra footage and images that I don't end up, or I cut out the videos, you know, I'll put that type of stuff on there, as well as update images. So, at, you know, it takes me usually a week before I make an update video. Well, along that process, if you are a Patreon, you'll be able to see images, potentially videos along the way of what I'm doing. So you can, you know, kind of give me a suggestion in the moment and let me know what to do or what I could do and then I could end up putting it in the video. Um, another and final uh, thing that Patrons will get is you will get a link to a private Discord server I created. Now Discord is basically an app where you can talk to people, you can video call, you can text, whatever. And all this is, is this, this will just be a server where it will be a community of Patrons and people who are passionate about this and want to see it work. We'll all be there together. We can chat about it all day long, whatever we need to do. Give me suggestions, all that good stuff. And uh, we can have live video calls, whatever, um, in order to get this thing going. And that will be exclusive to the patrons as well. So with that being said, if any of you are feeling generous, please check it out. You know, like I said, I'm not, I don't, I don't like asking for this. But at the same time, if people want to help, why well, turn them down? So thank you guys so much for that. The link is in the description. It's like the first link down there should be. And uh, yeah, let's get back to this reactor. All right, so I mounted the magnetron back on the top, and so far the results are very poor. I've been running this thing for about 20 minutes, as you see, almost no gas production, barely visible. And I know exactly why, it's not the magnetron on the top, and nor is it the agitator. It's actually a matter of geometry. As you see, I have two ports on this reactor. Two ports that are no longer being used, that port and this port because they were for the experimental mounting of the magnetron on the top of the reactor. Now, the issue is, they're completely empty and dead zones. Meaning, well, for one, gas will go in there anyway, despite it being too, and also microwaves will too. So instead of the microwaves bouncing around the walls of this reactor like they were designed to do, and get to the plastic many different ways and many different angles, I'm sure that a good bit of the microwaves are being trapped, especially in this second 
the second wave guy here. Which is a very unfortunate thing. However, it's quite a simple fix. You know, the simplest way to fix it is just to cut that off and re-weld, you know, cut a piece of metal to, to fit that and re-weld it. But I actually reckon I should do something different, okay? This reactor design, it has been successful in me testing and experimenting many different things to see how they work. Um, but I will say that it kind of seems like this thing has come to the end of its days. Especially the moment I added the, uh, the agitator in there and drilled that hole. There's been so many different things that popped up with this. But so much I learned too. So much we learned along the way. So with that being said, I actually, instead of, you know, going through the mess of trying to cover those holes up. Because, by the way, if you cover the holes up with something, you know, non-smooth, that, that could and affect the microwave as well, you know. Can make it, cause it to arc or get trapped there as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to design a new reactor, right? Now, was, this design worked well, like I said. So it's going to pretty much be the same size as this. Pretty much going to look really similar. It's going to be the same color, blah, blah, blah. But there will be a lot of improvements, you know. Things like, like this, you know, look at those mugs on there. are horrible, right? That wouldn't be the case. Um, in fact, this whole lid is warped because I didn't know what I was doing. I know a lot of things. I know how to do it now. Uh, the outlet ports, like over here, these outlet ports will be much bigger next time, okay? Much bigger, probably like one inch pipes or so. Because that's going to make it condense better. Like, you know, I might make all the pipes like the size of this or like a lot of them. Um, and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want suggestions from you guys, okay? I'm going to upload this video earlier than I usually upload videos because I want to start working on this reactor latest by next week, okay? And it will have an agitator, it will be run off of microwaves, so those are things we need to consider. And the magnetron will be on the top because we tested the magnetron on the sides and it gave me nothing but problems. Another potential thing is I could make a, a reactor that's horizontal. So that's something to look into as well. But either way... Give me your suggestions, leave the comments, let me know anything that I could do on this new reactor design. Just try, kind of think about it like if you had just this pipe and just the lid. Where would you put certain things? How would you put them? Let me know because I will take it all into consideration and we will get on to making this, um, this next reactor because this one is not working anymore. Unfortunately, like I said, it sucks. Because I really wanted to see how the agitator with the magnetrons, how it works, but this is life for you. And we will only improve on the next design. <laughs>